Hey, what's up guys? It's Geeks Corner here. Uh, I just want to do a little short video. I've had a lot of questions from people asking me lately uh, where they can get um, the best place to get apps for their Apple TV and for their iPhones and iPads and how they can actually install them. Um, so I just wanted to cover basically your options and uh, what actually covers. So hi, thanks for those joining us here on Periscope. Uh, we will be putting this video onto YouTube as well later on, so make sure you check that out. You can always follow us on our website, which is geekscorner.co.uk. We're on Twitter and we're on Facebook as well. So make sure you guys follow us there as well. But thanks to all of you that's joining. So basically, we're looking at the benefits, the pros, the cons of uh, these options. And hi as well to you. Now, basically, you've got, first of all, jailbreaking. Now, benefits of jailbreaking, hey, app, hi, app finder. Uh, the benefits, obviously, of jailbreaking, first of all, is you can install your custom apps. Uh, it keeps showing you scripts. Yeah, that's quite a bad thing. So, basically, if you're installing uh, the jailbreak, first of all, you need to be on a jailbreakable firmware. So, that means you're going to be on an older iOS firmware for most of the time. The same with the Apple TV. Currently, you cannot jailbreak uh, tvOS 10.1. However, I do hear that there is a jailbreak coming, so we are waiting on that. So again, you have to be on an older tvOS version. iOS, depending on your device, uh, pretty much iOS 10.2 and lower can be jailbroken, except for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. That's on iOS 10 through to 10.1.1 they can be jailbroken. So you're always going to be on a lower firmware. Now links to the jailbreak tools, if you are looking to jailbreak and you have some of those, then you can go to our website, which like I say is geekscorner.co.uk. We've got links then to the websites and the tools that you'll need. If you're on a 32-bit device, so such as an iPhone 5, etc., then you can actually uh, jailbreak iOS 9.3.4 and lower. 9.3.5 cannot be jailbroken at this time. So again, we've got tools and links on our website for those as well. So make sure you check that out. So those are the pros and the cons of jailbreaking, first of all. Next, we want to look at Xcode. Uh, Apple uh, added the ability to sideload your own apps to uh, your Apple TV and your iOS devices. Uh, and that's free. You don't need to be a paid developer. However, if you do use the free uh, certificates to do that, they only last three days now. Uh, Apple changed that pretty much after they launched and saw people uh, what they were using to install. So they actually reduced that down to just three days. The idea is it's just for you to test your device uh, on your own device. Um, and obviously, so workarounds did that. So it does only last three days. Uh, is it true jailbreaking programs steal your info? Depends on where you get them. Uh, if you get them from reputable sources and the actual jailbreak teams, then no. Uh, there were some issues, uh, but yes, I'm wearing my AirPod. Uh, there were some issues uh, a while back that people were using um, from different sites, and that was uh, obviously that's leaving yourself vulnerable. So that is another cause for concern. So you got to make sure you use the reputable sites for that. Uh, so basically, with Xcode, like I say. Pros, it's free. You don't need to be a paid developer. Cons, it only lasts three days. If you are a paid developer, so you've got um, a developer account with Apple, which is $99 or 90 odd pounds, then that will last you for a year. But again, you've got to pay that amount out to get that certificate to be able to do that. Then we're going to be looking at Cydia Impactor. Now, Cydia Impactor was a tool that was used, uh, was created originally for jailbreaks, but then plus size you can install apps to your iphone and your apple tv again it will need uh, an apple div apple id so again using free apple ids you can create one just to use and that lasts just seven days so every seven days you're going to need to re uh use Cydia impactor on your device and you do need a computer to do that as well so that again is unfortunately a downside to that sign-in services now if you don't want to jailbreak and you don't want to do it every three or seven days, depending on the tools, then they generally last a year. Now, Apple is cracking down on the signing services and they are revoking certificates. So you do need to be using um, a signing service that's going to that's gonna have a plan in place to replace those certificates. Now, we've got sign-on lists of the new guys out. They've on their, got their website. They've got a price plan that will tell you 
how many um, times you can basically be replaced depending on what you pay. Uh, it's one for 30 days or one for a year depending on, the, on what plan you choose to pay for at the time. IPA store, I know they have been replacing users quite a lot. The last price check uh, I seen was about a month ago now and I was about 30 odd dollars. Um, but then obviously they're replacing the users. It does take some time to replace people unfortunately so you could be without that tool for a few days depending on how quick they can get their hands on new certificates and get people over. But that's basically your options out there. Um, I've had quite a lot of people messaging me in the last few days, uh, particularly for uh, the I, basically how they can do it. Everybody wants it for free. And like I say, that is available. You just use Xcode, which lasts three days, unless you're a paid Apple developer, or you can use Cydia Impactor, and that lasts you seven days. So you're going to need to do it every three or seven days, depending on what you choose. Otherwise, you can jailbreak if you're on a jailbreakable firmware. Again, you can always be on a lower iOS or tvOS firmware if you're going to be jailbroken. And obviously then that again has its own issues. Uh, so you can't always have the newest stuff. But again, we've got information to that on our website. And then the other option is the paid one, finally, which is the sign-in service. And like I say then, that again still has its risks, but it's not as... Um, as risky as obviously jailbreaking because you're then out of Apple's um, protection as long as again you're going to use reputable sources for the signer services and you've got to be prepared to pay for that but it is cheaper uh, hi welcome to your first day on Periscope uh, basically it's got you got to it's got all got their pros and the cons but that's basically your options that is available to you guys so I want to keep this short <coughs> so that you guys could basically take a look at the video uh, and obviously join us. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I'm going to put this video on YouTube as well, so you guys can then uh, obviously look back if you want to. Like I say, head over to our website, geekscorner.co.uk, for more information. We'll put a link to this video as well, and there you can access our YouTube or Facebook or our Twitter. So that's it, guys. Thanks for the, the hearts and everything else. If you've missed this, you can obviously replay this. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you soon.